السلام عليكم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واخلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اما بعد امين ndugu zangu nimefurahi mashallah kazi nzuri mnaoifanya kazi nzuri mnaoifanya Allah wajaze khair sasa mimi kwa sababu ya muda nitajaribu nifupishe nifanye mambo mafupi kidogo kisheria tuna section 162 na 165 ya penal code imeharamisha hii jambo katika nchi yetu ukifanya ili jambo ni marufuku yani ni it's a crime utatiwa ndani that is the section sasa mimi issue yangu kubwa ambayo ningependa nieleze hasa kwa mashehe kwa sababu we have a forgotten soldier mwanasheria huwa amesahuliwa ukiona katika masala yote ya Kiislamu huwa mwanasheria hayupo kwanza pale na in fact hata mtoto wako akisema atafanya lua tambua haramu wenda tetea majambazi kweli wongo that is one aspect ambayo inasikitisha kwa sababu uislamu kutengenea kwake au kupiga zile hatua ulizopiga hii legal aspect ilitumiwa kisawasawa kabisa na mtume wetu sallallahu alaihi wasallam yeye alijua kuitumia alipoingia maana alipokuwa maka hali ilikuwa ngumu alipoingia madina kitu cha kwanza alitengeneza ni nini wathika constitution constitution akaeka usawa vile watu watakavyo interact waislamu wasiokuwa waislamu mayahudi nini baada miaka karibu kumi alipokuja hudaibia kitu gani kilifanyika treaty of hudaibia hii yote ni legal aspect ambayo imetumika wakati wa nyuma kusaidia uislamu kupiga hatua mbele now we are in this problem Sadly the sad fact of this hivi vita vikuanza leo pengine tumeona juzi tu kesi ambayo ilipitishwa 20 eh, ni petition 16 of 2019 kulikuwa na petition nyingi nyuma 2013 kulikuwa na petition wakiomba hizi section mbili nilizozitaja 162 and 165 162 inasema ni marufuku au ni haram mtu kuingiliana na mtu mwingine kinyume kinyume na maumbile 165 ime specify mwanamume akimwingilia mwanamume mwenzake ni marufuku na mtu atafungwa miaka mitano 2013 2013 the first attempt was to declare these two sections unconstitutional vita vilianza huko pengine sasa hizi ndo tunaviona nini kwa sababu oh, LGBTQ iko kwenye nini lakini kuna watu walivyanza mapema the sad fact waliokuwa wakisaidia au wakipigania upande wa uh, the morality aspect ule usawa paka leo paka kesho hata petition ya juzi ni wa Kristo we have the Christian uh, Christian professional forum hao ndo wanapigania waislamu hawako 2016 kukaja nyingine petition nyingine walikuwa wanaomba kusajili tena an NGO waka waislamu wakafanikiwa ile ya nyuma walifanikiwa na um, yani uh, this this year 2016 at least we had two muslims tulikuwa na jamii registered uh, jamii jamii ahli sunna wal jamaa si juu iko wapi e, na najua for a fact haiko Mombasa na huku ndio waislamu sisi tofauti tuwe mbele 20 hii ya mwisho hii juzi pia christian forum hizo kesi zote nilizozitaja kuanzia 2016 He Christian Forum Professional Forum zimekuwa inapigania haki wanataka haya mambo yasiendelee lakini la kusikitisha hii legal forum ambayo ilitumiwa na mtume kule nyuma wakati Uislamu unaanza sahi where are we na hili ndio jambo ambalo mimi nawaomba kwa sababu eh, kwa sababu ya muda hatuna wakati jamani hizi forums the right people kwa sababu uh, in as much as we want to win a war wewe ukienda katika vita alafu ukiwa kuna silaha hivi ni vita ambavyo vinapiganwa na mabunduki na ma rocket na nini sisi tuenda na mapanga legal forum ndio aspect ambayo yule mwanaje yule yule ambaye anapigania ugei na nini anajua nikiwin hapa nishamaliza mchezo kwa sababu the moment imekuwa imeku, imekubalika wao walikuwa wanangangana na pale nyuma wanataka iwe declared and constitutional ili wafanye huu uchafu ikawakashindwa ile sasa hii 
wamekuja na mlango mwingine basi sisi tunataka kuwa registered tu kwa sababu nafikiri yamezungumzwa wao wanapata depression na and, and that is the, the angle they used sisi depression tuaumia tuadhaluriwa society haitukubali you see that angle wanaoka katika vile vita wanaangalia another angle hawaangali uharamu wake au uhalali wake sadly they are not muslims sisi ambao tuweza kupigana tukasema sisi wa islamu ha hatukubali waacha waangamie waacha wapate stigma waacha nini we are not sitting in those, uh, those, those, those policy tables wanaoka kule wengi ni wa kristo na ni kwa sababu tumejipiga vita sisi wenyewe kuanzia mwanzo ukisema mtoto anataka kusoma law yaambiwa nini haram sasa tumeji sisi tunjipokonya wenyewe silaha tumeweka kando. Sasa sasa hii tumejipata tuko katika hali ambayo inasikitisha and this is not the beginning. This is a war which is coming. Pengine tumeona tu ile nini kumpigwa risasi mbili tumechanganyikiwa kwa sababu tumezisikia sasa bado. Kwa sababu ishakuwa allowed kuwa registered. Si ati zilikuwa hazipo zilikuepo. Walikuwa wakipigana sana. Hata ukiangalia hizo cases zimekutajia ile ya 2013 yule aliyefaile kesi ya 2013 ndio huyu huyu aliyefaile hapo juzi he is being fighting umesema subra subra mezi sita basi piga mahesabu miaka kumi kuanzia 2013 paka sasa and we are still going on hivi vita havijasimama leo na havitasimama leo kwa sababu tupigana na shetani shetani yeye aliyeka ahad na Mwenyezi Mungu si 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 sisi hata hatukuwekwa alimwambia Mwenyezi Mungu mimi nitapambana nao na nitakuhakikishia nitawafuata kwa kulia kushoto mbele yao nyuma yao. Kwa hiyo sisi hata tuta, tutaondoka ulimwenguni hivi vita vitakuwa. Kwa sababu hivi vimeisha na kuwa sisi we are going to protest no. We need to know where we stand and we need to know our enemy.